Hello and welcome to the K5 Championship Finale here at Texas. Time to get out there, get some qualifying done in the practice session. I was fourth place. I like I like Texas. Pretty excited to get started here. I'm entering this final race. Something like 15 points or so. I believe in the lead with Mitch right behind me so I'm gonna be keeping an eagle eye on wherever Mitch is in the in the field and I'm not gonna do anything crazy probably uh, kind of just mirror him unless he's doing something crazy maybe mirror the, the general Choices of the field. Ooh, Slayton, that was not a good. That was not a good. It was a bad. Okay, I need to focus the second lap. This is slightier than I expected. The track is slicker. <clears throat> this is not a good lap. my greatest effort but that'll be much better seventh all right now we find out where Mitch ended up we're right or right right in there everyone looks like they're in the fours or so like I said that felt a little slicker that first lap uh, I was kind of having a little bit of issue getting it gripped up so that's why I was kind of getting loose, kind of losing time. So I'm glad I was able to pull it back on lap two there. Oh, Mitch is right behind me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, of course, of course. This is going to be interesting. This is the first time I've ever done any sorts of point of uh, points racing this season. First ever time. And... Uh, I gotta be thinking about points during this race too. I gotta think about laps led. I gotta think about all that. Look out for the pit speed limit. Yes. Agree. Play to Mitch here in a second. So we've gotten some good luck messages. We got in here right now. Oh, we got Wesley uh, okay. splitting us up here. I'm still 7th, I believe. 37. Hmm. So, Nick down there in the 6s. Pretty full here today. I think we are going to have some people in the heat. I was going to make it. Mitch says he struggles. I guess I struggle too if he's only <laughs> like what 0 0.05 seconds behind me. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I'm gonna. I'm really gonna have to focus on saving tire. Justin gives a, a good luck. That's the end of the session. Seventh position. So we we had two people. The track temp is like the air temp is missed the show. We got Reed and James. Oh, the number two barely made it. He's been kind of fast a couple of times, so I'm surprised to see that. Hey, he made it in Rick. Nice job. Did Reed Reed left, and that's why uh, Nick was asking James to go out there and do the laps. 
He's our hero. <laughs> Otherwise, we have to wait for the full two minutes. Otherwise, he can get the, those three laps done. And it'll be done sooner. <clears throat> So Connor with the pole, I'm un, I'm unfamiliar. He may have been here a couple times, but I don't remember him as well. But uh, he had a fantastic pole lap there. Uh, some very familiar names. JP, I actually you know did an official race earlier today to practice. He got P2, I got P3. <laughs> so uh, we had ourselves a good run there. Hope I'll be able to keep up with them in this one. Whew, I'm nervous. It's all right. Jack's always very, very fast. He's a, a threat to win anytime he shows up. He's got very fast as well, so. Lots of names showing up. I just gotta make sure I show up too. <laughs> Give it the best time call you got. All right, Colton. Green, green, green. green. One color remaining. Two minutes to go. Talk to James, I suppose. Wrong James. James, James. Where is he? We're missing the show. We're missing the heat race. Oh my gosh. We forgot to turn our cameras over there. Oh, of course. <laughs> there we go. James had to have his black flags cleared? Is that just a joke? Because he's gotten a couple of black flags. <laughs> this season. Now he can't, like, have it say that. He, he must have actually had black flags. James sweep tonight. What did he get a, uh... Black flag for? Did he jump too early? Yes. <laughs> so that's how we got a black flag. That's funny. We will be on the inside. I do like that. I mean, it's a long race. This is the longest race. This is going to be the longest race in terms of, you know, length that we've had this season. Intentionally made that way as the finale. 150 laps. Here comes James finishing his final lap as the winner of the heat race. Lastly, has just retired. Checking flags right. out. P7. Oh, it's just about time. Let's see how the track has changed. Get some stuff ready. I don't know if this carries over or not. Oh my gosh, there's just a stampede coming. So many people out here trying to warm up. Oh, that's too bad. It's clear. Don't cross the white line. James's lap there would have put him in the show. But he couldn't get it done in qualifying. Jack all over my back bumper. Maybe the track's a bit slicker? Just maybe? I think it's going to take a little more time for anything significant to change. Check this down there. Yeah, you do have to lift a little bit in 3 and 4. If you want to save tire. It'll get on the right front too much. These are things I've learned through the official races this week, so... I hope to use that experience. I'm pitting this time, King. Jack's just get, getting as close to my bumper as possible. I'm already nervous, man. Trying to make me more nervous. Hit in the pump, Samuel. Fastest lap for Irving, 
Alright. There's warm up over. Just uh, did a couple laps there, a little bit easier. I'm gonna go even easier than that. During the race. Everything is set up, I believe. Race lab. Free chief, even though that's useless. <laughs> Alright. Championship race. Mitch is going to start right behind me. Maybe he'll just dump me and <laughs> get the championship. He wouldn't do that. Session last lap. I'm going to put my brake bias back in the car as well. Get as much rotation as possible. Entering the corners. There are three additional sets of Stand the caution by one Why is that? The air temp is 86 Fahrenheit. So. Get that on, just in case anyone's talking on all teams. That way we can hear them. Sometimes uh, people have their stuff on all teams. Should be a first gear start. Since we use the same setup. I wonder, uh, I guess two to green. Because, uh... Craig has the sideways start. He's giving us an extra lap because it could take a... Well... Well, the reason why not is because Nick can't uh, hear right now, and therefore can't organize that. This is just to make sure everybody's ready. Probably would have been okay, but... Good luck. We're not going to be able to... to uh, Gavin, I'm going to change up the paint in there, Brandon. I like that. Single oh, stop it. I think I gotta keep my. What the hell? Nick has the Dr. Pepper on it? That's trippy. Does he really? Wait, Nick got Dr. Pepper on his car? <laughs> Is he messing with Gavin? Yeah, on the ass end. <laughs> I think he's taking a. Uh, I think he's poking that Gavin, I think. Poking the bear. <laughs> One to go. <laughs> yeah, I think he is too. I'm just saving some fuel. For better luck. I want well, good luck for me in that SK race, though. He, I got ran over completely. <laughs> well, you didn't have diet, Dr. Pepper. That was your problem. Oh, <laughs> uh, so it matters, Gavin? Oh, that's good enough. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, didn't one Dr. Pepper get another? I mean, isn't it all the same? I don't have to get too desperate. You just gotta beat Mitch, essentially. There's a big enough gap. To third and so on. Just makes it simple on us. If you don't type a car, block it. As long as I don't crash out. Well, don't look at it too much. Don't Make crash out. Perfect. Finish ahead of Mitch. I think we're good as gold. All right. For the final time this season. Good luck, boy. Hmm. Yep. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, everybody. Get ready, going green. Good luck, everyone. Can't see. Pizza face carries off. Time to do your job. Let's go. Green flag. Green flag. Oh, very big checkup. Outside. Thank you, Mitch, for paying attention. Sorry, Shane. I got break check. Yeah, no worries. I was taking it easy on the start. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Alright, that was a little close. There were some nervous moments already. Just on the start. That's okay. 
First time into this corner at speed. Outside, clear. Wesley decides to clear me, that's fine. I'm saving tire. I'm assuming we're gonna have longer runs. Rotation on throttle. That's what I'm looking for. Seems like it's getting a uh, single file. It's good, it's good. <clears throat> Mitch may want to get by me. He's got to beat me and by a couple of positions. Car inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Inside. Not going to battle him now. It's way too early for that. Sorry if I scared you there, Diego. I've got a map along the front straight out of Vegas. No worries. You're looking lap 50, I believe. For pitting. Got Gavin right behind us. It's nice to have people all around you that you know you can trust. I know pretty much everyone in here. Especially know Gavin's someone I can trust, of course. Gonna have to worry too much about that. Looks like he wants to go. Inside. Give it to him. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear. <laughs> Falling back when I'm not concerned. I feel like I'm doing what I need to do to stay off the right front. If I've learned anything from the official races this week, you're going to be on the right front. Inside. Okay, you're going to get dive bombed. Still there, hold your line. Clear. It's fine. Saw it coming, so let it happen. I don't want to drive in that hard to turn one, because that's uh, where a lot of that wear comes from. P12. Feel like uh, once we hit about 25 laps, probably the. The way we've treated our tires is going to really start showing. Maybe a little longer since the track might be warmer. Hey, did Nick tune these cars out or is it just me? Did he say tune them out? Like make it faster? I don't think so. It should be fixed that up. I don't think it's changed anymore. Yeah. Uh, I don't want them to gain too much. I don't know. It might be so. Pretty sure it's full power. Irwindale was the only exception. Yeah, it doesn't feel too I different think to me. It could just be that the track's cooler, so it just is a little easier to drive right now. 
Yeah, that could definitely be it too. Too unusual, in my opinion, but... Alright, finished with 11 laps. Keeping any of the bottom, that seems to be an important part of racing here. Trying to keep the wheel as straight as possible. At some point in this race, I think I want to try to set a fast lap. I don't know. Maybe just one lap out after getting fresh tires. I don't know if I can pull that off. Or if that, is that even a necessarily a good idea. Let's send it on us. No, it's just not there. That's how everyone passes here though, so okay, whatever. I don't want to be side by side with them though. Just gotta get this done. Okay, don't do that, please. We got James in the lead. He's got a little bit of a gap, but nothing too crazy. He's not really driving off. Feel like the tires are starting to come back a little bit, starting to switch over. Hmm. Don't really want to fall anymore, uh, though. Sure, I'm lagging big time on my screen, pointing everywhere. Like I said, lap 25, maybe just a touch later, is when I'm gonna hope for the tires to start evening out for real. If they're not looking good, if it's not. I'm not reeling back in by then, then's when I'm gonna start getting worried. For now though, even though I wish I had more track position, I feel like I'm doing what I need to do. And he keeps getting the wall on entry to three. It's gonna lose a lot of momentum here. Quite enough for us to get to him though. That's good consistency, keep it Whoa. up. That was at thirty two point zero. Yeah, that was close. I don't like hearing things are close. I need this to go green. I'm going with the assumption that we're going to be going green for a while. I'll head up the uh, hard goodbye. Uh, 
Okay, Colton, the next car is moody. That still feels good. Things are pretty even right now. But my tires feel like they could do more if I needed them to. Mitch in seventh. I think we're starting to reel them back in. A couple of guys I see getting bigger. I guess was around lap 25. It's right around that time now. I'm hoping we start seeing some gains. I'm seeing, for example, Gavin was two seconds ahead, now he's 1.6. Something I like to see. That's a great move. You've just done a 32.1. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. It's keeping it steady. You can see where people are cutting on the grass on the front stretch. Tires are getting dipped into the grass. Okay, now it's starting to feel pretty good. I see a certain Mitch Drunowski coming towards us. That's what we need. I think if I finished, if we finished in these positions, I think I would still get it. Oh, would I? It'd be close. It's really close. We only have a couple spots we can spare. Thanks to, uh, in large part, to my terrible Chicago land. Big run on land in here. I think we got to go for this. Go ahead, take it, Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear Thanks, man. <clears throat> yeah, no problem. I don't want to interfere with you in the championship. Hey, you got to run your race, too. I get it. Whatever you need. Yeah, I don't want anyone to give me any special treatment, really. In real life, they wouldn't, you know, championship race. I don't want to feel like uh, and it, I don't earn this. I want to earn this, you know. <laughs> right now, I'm feeling good with the tire situation. Mitch may have just had a wall situation. It looks like he might have gotten in the wall in entry. Someone's crashing. Landon just crashed. Put a caution, yellow flag. Sorry, guys, my finger is locked up. Keep running, keep close right now. This car is out. Line up single file behind car number. Wow, I don't know how I missed you, man. Holy shit. It's closed. That sucks. That really sucks. Sorry, Ryan, if I got you in that. There was nothing I could do. Pure, it's closed. 
No, no, you're good. I missed it somehow. <laughs> Man, that was close there. Give me a four X, but I don't think I hit you. Come on, bro. Eight guys. Uh, I'm my my car's toast. I got a pit. Um. Three sets of tires. We got to come in here. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. That sucks. Got some people had problems. Man, Brandon, I'm sorry. I don't. Computer crap itself. Mitch is going for the Hail Mary. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need my to bad, my bad, everybody. He doesn't think we can uh, win we on the same strategy, I guess. So I don't think I don't know why he wouldn't make that move. Where he Three, would make that move otherwise. Two, one, right here. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I've learned my lesson this season. Send me an idiot. Okay, punch it. <clears throat> they want you in single file. Man, that sucks, that tiring, though, because it was just starting to pay off. <sighs> 74, 87. 487. Full course yellow. Pits are open. You can see guys up, up there were being tougher on the right front. And we were starting to get ground made up. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that might have been my bad. My car was pretty broke. The leader, Drunowski, is pitting. Drunowski is pitting. Is that what I heard? So he changed his mind. And is coming in. I think we gotta try to one stop it to the end. Yeah, I don't think you see the driver's chat. I think it has to be on all teams. No, he can't see any chat. Yeah, and don't do like I did last week and just not do it because I got this ball on. You can see no text chat here though. Can't message him. That's kind of ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I was way too broke. I should have just pit when I was closed. It's on me. We're going to be on the inside it's again. We're going to be at this point. Well, I know the black flag sucks, but you could have stopped like the rest of us. Mitch finds himself at the tail end of the field, really? I guess. In first. Where is Mitch? Is he still up front? What the hell, man? Freaking admin needs to have somewhere to tell. Usually he just, if you watch his videos, he'll just clear black flags like most restarts, I thought. One to go, next time. Uh -oh. That's all right. Okay, because Mitch Pitt, I guess, so we are on the let people go. Yeah, it's running an official open session, so not much admining. have to listen to what it says. If you get a black flag, then that's part of the deal. I mean, I would have got a black flag, but I stopped. Someone checked up for a wreck and was 20 miles behind us, and we all were going in the pit. You gotta wait. <laughs> well, I know it sucks, but I stopped at the pit entry level by me, so I didn't get a black flag. Give me a bike, son. All right. So Mitch is at the tail end of the field, yeah. I guess. 
Oh, he might be uh, on. Might have still saved a set of tires. So we're gonna have to think about so that. The regular Dr. Pepper car finished ahead of the diet. That means that regular is superior, right? I don't think there is a regular, but it's not superior. To answer your question. <laughs> Code <laughs> car is off. Be ready. No. <laughs> Everybody's sleeping. Feels like. That's okay. Inside. The eight. Still there. Still there. Hold oh, we got black flags clear tonight. Still there. Hold your line. Might have saved some people potentially. There you go. Thank God. Keep high. Clear inside. <clears throat> I was worried about my... Uh, what's the strategy here now? I mean, we gotta make it to lap 90, I think. Still want to be good on tires, but if we just got to beat Mitch, maybe I want to do everything I can just not to fall back and then get a caution where I'm closer to him, you know? Interesting. Maybe go a little bit harder this run, but not just go all out, you know? Oh, I should have uh, should have done what I, exp I wanted to do and try a fast lap. I can't just do that though. On a restart, there's people around me. So there's that little issue, I suppose. That's your quickest lap. I'll try to go fast anyway. Fast ish. I don't want to drop as many positions this time, though, as possible. I mean, I started the race 7th, and I'm in ninth now, so we haven't gone too all over the place. Gavin's approaching quickly though, I might have to let him on by. Looks like he wants to go. Still inside. Clear. We're just, uh, we're getting passed again. Even though I am trying to go a little bit faster this time. I don't know. bit of a tough corner. I don't want to just pass him again, though. So he seems like he wants to take a faster pace than me at the moment. Especially through 3 and 4, it looks like he's pushing a little harder. Oh, I think he hit the apron right there. We're not going to get to him, though. No worries. So, we have one caution so far, but it was from a computer issue. So, all, uh, all signs indicate that we should be on our way to green flag to the end still what it seems to be trending toward 
That means lap 90. We're going to need to pit. Or do we go longer? Maybe just a touch longer. Just to be safe. Don't get trapped anywhere. It's feeling good. The track feels like it's loosening up, which I really like. It could just be me. It does feel that way. Devin behind us. Just gonna be patient. He might be a touch faster than Gavin, but not overwhelmingly so or anything. Unless he wants to hit the wall on entry, that might have been prediction code though. Devin takes a little bit of a higher line there, that's gonna be harsher on the tires. Doing okay, still top 10. Getting rotation on the throttle. It's good. Later I'll have to check to see where Mitch is. Like I said, I'm gonna have to keep an eagle eye on this race just to know my situation. Cause we got this race, which is the battle. But, this, you know, standings, that's the war. So, we got to be uh, aware of everything going on around us. Mitch was hoping for uh, more cautions. And uh, to be able to use that extra set of tires later. I don't think that's what's going to happen though. Short tracks have been messy this season, but larger tracks not so much most of the time. That last lap was a so I'm feeling pretty good. Good on the inside, boy. Might be able to push through three and four a little bit more now if the track's heated up. When the car's looser, you can get on the right rear more effectively there. And push harder and go faster while not really killing the right front necessarily. Which is a lot of fun when you can do that. But in the track states uh, during official racing this week, it felt like you were killing your right front doing that. Here, are things getting a little bit hotter track temp wise maybe you can push a little bit more I'm gonna feel it out see what I uh, I'm thinking later Feeling pretty good. I pushed a little bit harder there. Didn't feel like it was doing too much. Couldn't hear the tires squealing a, a ton either. That lap time was 31.9. Does feel like the track is looser. It's all good news. That's what I like to hear. Starting to approach that time during the last run when we started to turn things around, 
after tire saving. I didn't save tires as hard this time, but I still did make an effort of it. See uh, how much, if at all, that pays off this time around. But given we pit on lap 31, went green about a lap or two later. We're about 20-ish laps into this run. We're catching back up to Gavin here. Be there. Car yes. Outside. Backs Outside. off. Maneuvers it well to make sure neither of us lose much time. Appreciate him for that. I think everybody else is getting a little bit tight. I feel it just a tiny bit, but we got grip in the tires still to help combat that. I mean, we can see the leader still, too. He hasn't driven a million miles away by any means. I have some passes to make though. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Went a little extra wide there, a little bit too much. Wide on entry, that is. It's really wide to the center or exit. Your last lap time was at 32.3. Three. P9, Got back up to us a little bit. Just trying to pace myself, make sure I'm not getting too over eager. Gotten more aggressive through three and four, but really not much more through one and two. Still trying to slow down the car plenty through that section. Go ahead, bud. Yay! Right there, that's fine. Blocking a little bit. Fair enough. Kevin's going to follow us through. Happy to see that. Always rooting for Gavin, of course.
outside. Up up time was 32.5. Go low. Clear up top. Car outside. Still there. Not gonna overdrive the car in one and two, trying to make a pass. Instead, I'm just gonna make sure I'm alongside him and then I can clear him into three and four, where I can push a little harder without worrying about tires as much. Moving forward, that's what I want. I like it. I like that a lot. Real patient on throttle. Only taking what the car is willing to give me. You can see, some guys are really losing a lot of speed in three and four at this point, but we got the grip to uh, really sling it around there still. That's going to add up. I've been doing a pretty good job hanging on to us. He must still have some tire left. Chuck kind of like taking a higher entry. Okay, Colton, you've got half your fuel left. And three and four. It's interesting. I wonder how that well that works out for him. I feel like this is just such a single groove, groove track, though. Not sure how well that would work. I think the pole center? What happened to the pole center? He was running in fifth. What happened? Do this. Time was I was wondering the same thing. He was the pole sitter. Yeah, he was doing good. Huh. Weird. Well, he had a uh, <laughs> engine problem or something, I guess. Landon had uh, equipment issues <laughs> earlier in the race. You got a pole. Outside. Go low. Go low. Whew. Go low. Outside. Thought I had it. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. Go low. There is a car on the high side. Go low. You're in fifth. Clear. That lap was a 32.7. Thanks. Just taking my time with it. Be nice to the tire. All right. The gap ahead is now 1.9 seconds. <clears throat> we are top five now. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. How about that? How much will we gain on the top four, though? I mean, they're still there. <laughs> they are still well within. I'm marking Devin. I'm hitting next time. Hitting next time. Okay. Hitting next time. I don't think that's the play. I don't think you can make it to the end. I'll keep an eye open. Try not to run into you. Going to 90. Maybe he didn't take tires at first run or something? Oh, I'm going down low. I'm putting here. It's an interesting one. P5 
So I will start paying attention, I suppose, to that deficit in front of us. Wesley, there. I'm gonna see where, where we are. Our uh, ugh, words. I'm gonna see where we are at once we get to the line, and see if we're gaining any significant amount. What lap did we pit? I've got 31. Last lap was at 32.5. Is he saying, did we pit or will we pit? I might have sounded stupid there. I thought, I thought he said, did we pit? Whatever. <laughs> I forgot to check uh, <laughs> if we were gaining. I think we are. I think I saw 1.3 and then now we're at like 1.1. Oh, yeah, we're gaining pretty good on Wesley. He's asking about pitting because his tires are dead, I think. Gavin is just following us up right through. Hopefully we can get around Wesley relatively quickly. I know he, uh, he'll fight. He always seems to want to fight for the positions. Especially if we're going to be fighting for a spot in the top five here. Gavin was a little tight there. Looks like he almost went up and got the wall. Are we gaining on the top three? I see 2.4 and 2. So second and third place, respectively. See if he gives. Oh my god. Shoot. What's going on, man? Car inside, coming up on halfway here. Clear inside. Get back in fear. Sorry if I pushed up there. I think it's mutual. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys kept it together, though. That was scary. <laughs> Well, that could have been it right there. I felt like I was on my line, but I don't know. And I'm watching this lap traffic. I'll let you go here, Alan. You got it, brother. Huh. Well, that was weird. I hope I didn't push up into him. It was a little bit of a late decision. But I felt like I got alongside him. I don't know. Yellow flag? What happened? Man. We can't make it all that way, I don't think. So you gotta come by me. Not what happened. Didn't work. Oh boy. Now what do we do? Catch up. Seventy-seven. Car. He tires again. Obviously. This is playing into Mitch's hands. I don't like it. He's running back. Bitch.
Pit Road is now open. Well, cross yellow. Pits are open. Sorry again, Wesley, for the contact. It, I guess we just got together and it started hooking me into you, and I, it was hard to keep it off of you. It's all good, man. I think a little bit of my fault, too. Come on in. The leader, coin, is pitting. Watch your speed. to stop again. Pit box in 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Oh, that time I was worse than Gavin. All clear, punch it. Next bit out for some lead line of points. One tire set remaining. Line up, single file. I did not want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it. I knew you would probably want to know. <laughs> that's going to be so bad for track position, though. I did not want to risk it. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do now. I mean, he's going to pit this time, but he'll be way back. I see Mitch try that last caution. Right around me. Catch up, 75. Chuck. That's true. Mitch did get bonus points as well, didn't he? Hmm. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. The leader is pitting now. I think we can make it to the end. 16 laps. We can't make it. I don't think. This is such a tough Wait, spot. he didn't hit? Yeah, he just went in. I saw him. He just, he just rolled through. through. He's waiting at the end of pit road. He didn't actually stop. Oh. His tires were just broken in. Quite the gambler. He needs something. That's a big gamble. I see. He needs a big gamble, though, if he yeah, wants a chance. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Huh. Maybe, Maybe he's banking on a caution right after this restart. No, I bet he waits for the last home and top off. I mean, if his tires are like ours in the 50s, I don't know if he can last that long. He's going for it. I mean, I put on 71 and mine was 68, uh, 83, so he was like kind of doing the same thing as me. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Those guys up front are killing the right front and staying there. But it'd be like two seconds off the pace, though. Do I just go this time? Yep, that's true. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't think, I think he needed to at least take tires there as he stayed after the lap. Because he's, he's way back on track position anyway. Hitting there again now. doing his best to make it on fuel. Oh, you know what? Maybe his pit stall is before the line so he couldn't get the bonus point unless he just rolled through. I tell you, I'm trying to say to gamble on uh, making it the rest of the way. Yeah, I imagine he's going to do something. He'll be up here before the end, I'm sure. This is tricky. One thing's for sure, it's going to make great content.
what is this guy guys? I think we go. I mean, Jack was in the lead, or close to it. I'm pretty sure he was in the lead. And he had 40 on his right front. Get back in fifth. Hmm. I think we come in and pit lap 117 if we need to, but do we need to? That's the question. You've just done a 31.0. In good rotation, the track's definitely hotter. of this run, especially because it could presumably be a shorter overall. Kevin almost got himself uh, on the on my inside there. I don't think he was meaning to. I think he just drove in harder. Cause he probably wanted to get well enough alongside Chuck there. He almost found himself alongside me. Too much. All right, he's protecting. Thought I might have a chance on him. Just hoping that uh, I don't completely kill him. I feel like warmer track is going to be okay. We can push a little harder. Up to third. Can I lead a lap? Is that what I go for here? I think we're close enough, we have to go for it. We have to go for leading a lap. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. The next Gavin has followed us the whole way. That's so funny. You're in second position right now. That lap led.
She's like, don't hit the wall in the straightaway. Oh my god. That didn't actually happen. That was prediction code. Just so everybody knows. Imagine a throwaway a championship hitting the wall on a straightaway. No, Kevin, please. You get it. <laughs> they lead a lap. Alright, we'll regroup. Embarrassing though. I feel like I'm okay. I'm like allowed one stupid thing. That's right. Like, that's okay. I'm allowed to be stupid once in a As long as that stupid doesn't get me wrecked. Oh my god. Clear inside. Felt like he pushed up near me. <sighs> Want that lap? Want that lap lead? Lap lap All right, Gavin, going for the lead. Had to drive it harder than I wanted to because Scott looked like he was trying to dive it in. So that was bad on my tire. My right front. When I say my tire, I mean my right front. That's the one that matters most in the service. That lap led. What was that? Yeah, go ahead. You guys are good. I'm Car saving now. Good job. Clear <laughs> high. Car outside. Keep low. The next car's the leader. Oh, you just wanted the freaking lap. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I pushed way too hard for that, but right. now we're even on bonus points. Me and Nick. <laughs> Back in third. Keep hustling. Stay low. There is a car on the high I side. probably screwed myself. <laughs> I did mine the much, much harder way than he Keep did, low. and probably are going to pay for it on tires. <laughs> Outside, clear. Outside, clear. Outside, clear. Sorry, James, I didn't know we were going pretty wide there. Alright, Colton, we're halfway home. Should be about 22 minutes. Should be all good, I didn't know the total last second either. I was about to let you go, but I was like, nah, this is too fun. Focusing real hard here. I, I really want to get the lap lad. I don't want to kill my tires at the same time, though. I think Gavin's giving us the bottom. Sorry, Ted. Oh, dude, we made it. Michael, what are you doing, dude? Don't dive it in there like that. We're almost there. Sorry for racing you so hard there, JP. I just really wanted that lap. You're back in second, P2. The lap time was at 32.4. Now I knew what you were doing. Gavin, of course, very close battle with Nick right now. For third, I think it was. So he's got his own race he wants to go for. Uh, 
Okay, Colton, that's good consistency, keep it up. Can we get around Jack for just one lap? One lap to be led. That gives us essentially a whole position, I believe, or almost as much. Car outside. Clear up top. Looked like he left the bottom open and then he started like squeezing it. gonna go for the hole there and then uh, wasn't there so much very much any longer I've got to get this done before my tires go away. I want this lap so bad. Jack's fighting me though. Did Mitch pay him off. <laughs> like you see, we're making distance on the people behind us. <laughs> We're so close on fuel. I should be saving. That's what I should be doing. You've just done a 32.6. B2. Can I save that much though? I don't know. Four laps? That's so much. Come on, I'm right there. Car outside. Still there. Come on. Stay low. There I didn't get it. You know in the lead. Still there. Outside, clear. Come on. Just one lap. Is he gonna let me have it? Oh my god, we did it. We got one lap. <sighs> okay, you are the leader. Was it worth it? No. I doubt it. <laughs> I was already pushing hard. He's not just gonna overtake me though, so we will continue staying out here, I guess. I've done far too much damage to my tires though. By the way, a mild <laughs> a wild Mark Gonzalez has appeared. That's interesting. I haven't seen him around much up front, but I think uh, I'm going to start seeing more of them. I got my lap led. I'm content. Take one corner real easy. I see you, Dan. You're clear, buddy. Whew. Oh. Right, good job, Colton. All four of us got the chance for the bonus point there. You were right, that was hard. 
for gentlemen. The <laughs> next car's the leader. Okay, Colton, the next car is Queen. So now we can kind of just settle down a little bit. When do we pit, though? 34 laps. We're still short. I remember Mark was really good at rocking him. He might be really good at saving tires or something, because that's a place where you really want to save tires, and tire saving has been important here as well. So that might be why we're seeing him do so well. Plus, he's just a fast racer, of course. He gets his own bonus points. I don't think he's been here for every race, but hey, get as many as you can, right? <laughs> Even if, uh, yeah, you, didn't, you weren't able to make every race. I'm happy with where I am. I'm very happy. I'm kind of settled in here in third. I'm also Thank you, Oh, You got it, brother. Why does it feel so bad, honestly? Once I like let the tires cool down a little bit, took it easier for a lap or two, they uh, they kind of came back a little bit. P3. We got about a half a second gap behind us. Mitch, go high in three and four. Mitch? Is Mitch laps down? No. Oh. He's in seventh. Oh, and he's making his way forward. Oh my god. The return. Pitting. This is exciting. 42 pitting this time by. Start 44, 44. I better hope I've done a good job. Shane, I'm pitting. We got people pitting. 117 is. About where I estimated, so it seems like guys are not gonna try to make it to the end. I'm gonna do maybe what Mitch does, I think. I'm gonna watch Mitch, and I'm gonna do what he does. Is that the way to do it? I think so. Mitch is moving forward though, man. He's in the top five now. Very impressive run. I know usually he's more of a short track guy. Making sure that no one's saying pitting in someone right in front of us. I think we have to go long though anyway, so we don't get trapped. Such a tough situation. I'm going to put in that and Colton. Okay. Good. The next car is the leader. We both got the message, that's good. The leader's bidding now. You're back in Thanks second. Here. The next car's the leader. Boy, this is uh this is tough. Twenty six and fit in the standby. I just I gotta do what Mitch does. That's just what I have to do, even if it gets my overall race, if my overall race suffers. 
I just got to make sure that he doesn't get lucky and get a huge break by a good caution or something. My race is against Mitch at the end of the day. Overall. We're gaining time right now on him. Right now, Mitch may as well be my crew chief. He tells me when to pit. Ooh, Jack almost got the wall. I'll back out of it. Cautions can happen too, whenever people start coming on on the fresh tires and people at different speeds start flying around. About three laps short. Making it to the end. I don't think I can save that much. Jack's getting real tight, I think. Car inside. Clear inside. I'm sorry, Colton. Uh, outside. I don't know. Yeah. Outside is clear. We made it. That's all right. <laughs> that was just a dangerous situation. Yep. Sorry, guys. No time to waste. Oh my god. The lead is bidding now. We have a new leader. You're in the lead. <sighs> I have to stay out if Mitch is out. Inside. Hi here. Inside. Got to. Still inside. Say hi. Clear inside. I do. I think we have to pit. Do I, I, I I'm afraid Mitch is gonna make it. And I'm not. Sorry, that had to be done forty seven, but it was fun. The car's so tight. And we're not gonna make it. We have to pit. Don't we? Inside. Get eighteen. Okay. 
like I'm just as wreck likely to get wrecked by somebody. Catch me faster than that. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Keep high. Keep high. Clear inside. Car inside. Leading. Janowski behind. Still inside. Car inside. It's much slower. Maybe we will make it to the end. Still inside. Clear inside. Gavin's still out too, so he must think it's a good idea. Well, there's going to be some interesting videos tonight. Stay <sighs> I think so long as I follow what Mitch does, I will still win the championship. So I'm just going to stay out as long as he does. Because if I finish 31st, so long as he finishes 32nd, we're fine. So I'm doing what I have to do. It's not the it's not the prettiest way to do it. But for once I I'm hoping I'm making the right call. problem is what if he makes it to the end and I can't hmm. oh my god it's pushing so bad good all right Tried to clutch, that's so hard to do though. Inside. Still inside. Still there, inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Car inside. Keep high. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. The gap is now. 1.6 seconds. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Is everybody gonna make it on fuel? Did I just hit that idiot? That's a good question. If we are coming in, it's a splash. I cannot turn this car. Hello here, Devin. Oh boy! Oh boy, okay, that's huge. Oh boy. Guess that saves a whole lot of people. I don't think I was gonna make it. Okay, Colton. Yeah, I was literally one corner away from pitting, giving up. That was not gonna work. I just had to follow what Mitch did, to be honest. Thirty-two, you got to come up fastest. Ooh, boy! Catch the pace car. Scott was good. Yeah, I was left with a good two. I wasn't sure if we were going to beat the guys that pitted early. Michael Dunn, you got to come up fastest, man.
Well, that might have saved us in terms of this race's finish. Don't know what it's going to do for the championship. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We think we'll need to stop again. GP, we already used all our tires. Great. We already paid three times. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to get out of the way. Three, two, one. Right here. Yeah, this is all kinds of bad. I ain't got no tires either. <laughs> oh no, there's guys without tires. So we're going to have all the leaders on fresh tires behind all of us that pit. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> You are out of time. Right, make them work for it, boys. I almost sped. <laughs> They're gonna be so much faster. We just gotta get out of the way. Championship implications as well. Then let's go. You gotta go for it. Yeah, man, go for it. Let them get through traffic. All right, all right. I just don't want to be the reason. To be a factor in the championship. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> We've both had terrible tires. 17, 15, <laughs> holy crap. Completely crazy for pitting. I thought it was crazy for a second. I don't know if it's coming. If I could have literally made it like one more lap of my fuel, I could have waited to hit in the caution. Oh, this is weird, by the way. There's a lot of guys on no tires in front of us. Looks like Nick's playing paid off. Yeah, he's starting 20th, which would be like probably 10th. I'm guessing that's how many people already fit ahead of him, so. This could be scary. I'm rolling slow on the outfit. All right, we're not as bad, uh, far back as I thought. So it looks like there's more cars in front of us than it says, but 13th, okay. No tire saving here, it's... Hey, Colton or Scott's got this one. To finish. Hey, Rick, will we get the rave around? I think so. Yeah, you guys will when it's one to go. Don't pass it early. Right. Hey Rick, as soon as it tells me I'm gonna take off so we can hurry and get to the back. Done for, buddy. Hey, you can go just as the pace truck gets to the line. Do we have the uh, restart zone? <laughs> restart zone? I don't think so. No. I pit early and then got the lucky dog. So only this works out for me is if everyone left in front of me. You'll be lining up on the inside. Which, considering the situation, that could be a caution. Yeah, we just gotta be patient. We can't wreck. We cannot I'm wreck. I'm not gonna lie. Fresh tires are 13 on back for the lead lap, so this should get interesting with 8 to go. Justin's up there. They're gonna be pulling like 5 or 6 positions a lap though. The biggest thing is if you're on old tires, just run your line, then hold your line. Yeah. Oh man, I'm scared. I'm doing second gear start. Rick, coming out of 2. Because they're not going to launch gotcha, very well. Thanks, oh boy, it's coming down to this. Ten laps to go in the finale. We got a bunch of slower cars like ahead. About to go green. Stay focused. Well, it comes down yeah, to this. Good. Just sitting there. Just sitting here. In. 
flag, green flag. Green flag. Car outside. You're on the bottom, three wide. Still hold. Outside, two wide. You're on the bottom, three wide. See, Mitch is going fast. Appreciate the wind there, Diego. Still there, hold your line. You're on the bottom. I don't like this. Outside, two wide. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Okay. Okay. Clear high. Inside. Oh my god, we almost got wrecked. You're in the top ten. Car outside. Clear. Outside. Go low. I saw him thinking about it. I'm so glad he didn't. Alright, I don't hurt there. Hold your line. Clear. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Inside. Okay, You're up top, three wide. Inside, two wide. Clear. Which way is pushing up that way? Oh. Sorry, Nathan. Sorry. Pit road is closed. Car is out. Dang, we didn't even get those positions, did we? Oh, wait, we did. I think. Well, oh, you guys, I got a pass. I'm coming on the outside. Hope I gave everyone room there. That was pretty scary. Oh, well, I guarantee he's going to win now. Does it? It's scarier when when you're in the middle three wide on Warren Tyrus and the guy who thought he was a super fresh one. Yeah, and the championship leader's coming on your bottom and you're in the middle three wide. Scary. <laughs> yeah, that too. Pit road's open. It's are open. There was a four wide there, I'll pet reach that I back though though, because I didn't want to be responsible for anything that happened. Well, we made it to f where are we? Four at? I think it's seventeen forty two. Ten four, seventeen forty two. Cool, thanks. Alright. Five laps to go. Mitch is in tenth. Okay. Car Still just gotta be smart. The lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Oh, that outside move at through third one. Gave me a couple spots up on Scott. Left off twenty three. Car by. <laughs> Mark. Well, Cole is just going to fly right around him, Mark, unfortunately. We'll, we'll see. Oh, was, I think the same thing happened to Mark at Rock Game. Hmm. <sighs> They won't go by you if you go call Harry McDega. <laughs> it's are open. So I still gotta be smart. Uh, I should be able to get around these guys, even if I don't win. I don't need to. So don't get myself wrecked. Going for it. Yeah, that rocking hand finish was not so good. Road is closed right now. Out. Pits are closed. Yeah, and what was the point spread between you and Nick? Uh, it was like 24, so I need to beat him by like five positions. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. <laughs> sure would be cool to finish off the championship with a win, though. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Bad ideas forming in my head. Uh, 
Mitch, though, he's still 10th. I can't wreck out of this. He gets a top 10, he gets the championship, you know. It's not like he's way out of it or anything. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it, but not do anything over-aggressive. Scott. <laughs> That'll be like an unofficial ring white check, right? Scott went, like, in the grass at one point, I think, trying to get on my side. It's closed. Jack, you should be in pretty good position. No, you're not that old, are they? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about that. I think Poland's are like 15 laps better, so... Yeah, no. 13. Nah. 13 laps. Yeah, a couple of them had like 10 mile an hour in the corner of on us. <laughs> so I was in the lead, and I'd be swinging on the outside this time. I'm a wide one. He'd be able to get a jump, a good jump as a leader. I assume that's what he's referring to. So, well, to watch out for Scott, though, you know, he really wants it. We saw him kind of attempt a really aggressive move through the uh, tri oval, quad oval, whatever. I don't know which one it is here, I don't pay attention. <laughs> but, uh, so, you know, he's going for it. Full stop. But we've got a row on him. Should help. I think Jack, sh he should be able to go around Mark, so I think we are in a good spot being on the outside lane. Unofficial green white checkered. Alright, one more big deep breath. Let's finish it off. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Inside lane had a terrible start. I had a kind of terrible start. Two left to go, two to go. The All right, what they doing back there? Caution, yellow flag. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right What you doing back there? A spun off. Oh, Scott was involved in something. See, I knew he was being aggressive. I don't know what happened though. My heart is pounding out my chest. I can feel it. Are the green white checkers unlimited or one time? Well, I think this will be a green white checker. I think he's got a he has a bunch baked in, like fifteen or something like that. I think they're unlimited. How many got collected in that one? See Mitch was okay though. I got zero X contact on my side, but I think my car's okay. Gavin and Nick still That's back the there. Tenth and eleventh. Justin's still having a great run, thirteenth. Single foul, even though it's a green white checker. Yep, I think so because I don't know if he can change it. He doesn't know you this, so I don't know. I mean, if we wreck immediately, maybe we need single file, you know, that's how it's set up. For a reason. Not really a fan of Mitch being able to gain some more spots on me, but... Or, you know, gain a couple spots closer to me. Should still be okay. This does not help me... With the potential of <laughs> getting the win, I don't think. It's just letting their tires get cooler. Maybe a little bit grippier. We'll see what happened. That might not have been... I should I should mention. That might not have been uh, 
Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Scott's fault. Whatever happened. I just knew he was going to be aggressive. Because of course he is. It's green, white, checkered, essentially. He wants the win. But I don't know if that was something, you know, he got loose or something. I don't know what happened. If I roll over old rubber, that would give me more rubber on my tires to make them better, right? <laughs> oh, Nick made it double file. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah, that give you more rubber for rubber. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that call. Still single file, though. It didn't take. Still single file, looks like. Yep. Yep. It's okay. Hopefully, everyone Maybe if I extend it by one, then it might fix it. We'll see. We'll see. Probably just get what we get here. Okay, everyone looks like they're going single file. That's the one bummer with him not having the chat on. If he could just tell everyone to double file and clear it as soon as it goes green. I think this might help me, though. Um, I mean, I think you can extend the, the thing, right? We're farther back, but we are not going to be blocked by any too wide. Help. All the way down at the bottom there. Dan, I'm just restarting second. I'm not trying to do anything stupid. Mark, get up on the wall if you don't want to get past me outside. Get ready, going green. Yeah, 10 4, pitch it. Just trying to finish it out. Height car is off. Reflowing green. green. Alright, good enough start, I guess. Come on, tires. Got a pass for the lead going on there. Patient. Car outside. Didn't want to dive it in on him. White flag, no cautions now. Back in third. Keep hustling. P3. The next car's the leader. Outside. Oh my god, this is getting really interesting. Go sort it out, Captain, and stick to it. Go low. Yep, <laughs> that's what I thought. Good win, Colton. Clear. Yes! We did it! Yes! Oh, thanks for not dropping a suicide block there. I appreciate that so much. I've caught you like probably six times in all the time for pre so uh, it's probably the right thing to do. <laughs> Better race faster. Oh my god, we did it, we won! We got the championship, so we got the uh, race. Nick, I, a Nick, um, I should have just drove it down to the line had you passed me on the outside, I guess. Oh my well, god! But... Oh, race is the last, see you next season. Yay! Good win, sir. Good championship, Colt. Good win. Great drive. Pretty sure they won't. Great race, guys. That was so much fun. The whole season, so much fun. Yeah, congrats, man. <laughs> yes, we did it. Ribbon on top, the win at Texas. Congrats, Colton. Congrats. I love this track. <laughs> oh my gosh. This means more to me than anything I've ever done on iRacing. Just because so many cool people being a part of it. Woo!
Yes, oh boy. Weight lifted off my shoulders, we did it. From seventh to first. Where did Mitt Mitch? Incredible run, he got himself a top five. He uh, showed up, he did what he needed to do, but we were able to get the victory. He, uh, he made sure he was in a position to take advantage. And take advantage if I made any mistakes and ended up down here somewhere. Whew. All right. Tires are ruined, so it was, that was just a short run anyway. So we'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the final standings or the Pokemon tabs in my browser. <laughs> well, let's look at the uh, final tally. We finished with 103 points in this race as the winner. My fastest lap time was nowhere near some of the guys around us. James with the fastest lap right there. Fast lap number 36. Same as with car number. That's funny. All right. And heading off to the championship finishing order. Here in the K5 Championship Season 1. Mitch, of course, the Season 0 champion, but we have taken the title here in Season 1. Looks like Nick just edges out Gavin for P3. Despite zero wins, he's very consistent. We get a, I think that's league best, three wins with our final win here at Texas. Ooh. All right, 925, our final point total by 24 points. We pulled it off with 100 to third. Mitch absolutely did not make it easy. So fantastic job to him. Let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. Made sure I said thanks to everyone. All right. Gavin couldn't quite get away from Nick at the end. And we will now check out and see the incidents. We didn't have too many. We had a couple. A couple that definitely uh, threw us for a couple loops. <laughs> Gave me some stress there, wondering if I could make it to the end at the one point. But I was just following Mitch's lead, following his strategy, and it ended up working out for us, thankfully. So uh, thankfully that worked out for us. We didn't die on lap one on the grid. Because it looked like P3 didn't get that great of a launch, maybe. Maybe like uh, P1 was starting in second gear and P3 was first gear. And so we had a bit of a check up. Thank you so much to Mitch. <laughs> Ironically, for not running into the back of me. Nope, I just got some blinking here. Lap 16. 18. Bit of a wall there. Out of two. Oh, that's right. Landon ran into trouble. This is where his computer locked up. That sucks so much. He's had the worst luck this season. I wish him better luck next season because he's run into some horrible luck. And uh, that is just a microcosm for his whole season right here. Just equipment failure. I mean, you can just call that... Uh, oof. Oh, man. A couple more people in it, too. Uh, you could just call that, you know, a random blown tire. We don't get those on iRacing, but we do get equipment failures like this. So, theoretically, that's what this could be emblematic of. Just gets a random tire failure or something, and uh, fortunately, Ryan gets a big piece of it, it looks like. Hopefully, it didn't damage him too much. I think Brandon was taken out by this as well. He got way too much of it. Absolutely destroyed his front end. That sucks, their uh, race ends early. 
some wall there. More on exit. Got some shifting. They're getting real tight race cars. Probably about get closer or later in a run at this point. So just some more wall hits. Be very interesting to see what the cautions were. Because I really didn't get to see any of it except for Landon in my rear view one time. Whenever he was uh had the equipment failure. Didn't really see anything else of what happened though. Still so far, lap 72. Usually just some wall hits here. Maybe some tires getting worn out. Nothing going on there. I wonder if we'll see what happened between me and Wesley. I, I do feel bad if I pushed up and got him. If we don't see it, I'll, I'll probably try to find it later. If I remember to. So that was very dangerous. Could have been the end for us. I want to make sure I don't uh, repeat anything like that if I can't avoid it. Jack in P1 at this time. Nick with the Diet Dr. Pepper on the back of his car. That's what people are talking about. That's funny. These are just some tires getting old, so we'll, uh, we'll scoot past these pretty quick. Oh, I, look at that. Perfect timing for my not good moment. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like you. <laughs> yeah, we're just not giving each other enough room, I guess. I feel like that's pretty low, but I was drifting up a little bit, maybe. But he's giving me like minimal room too, and then it kind of hooked me on there. Phew, that was scary. Uh, is he still here? No, he's not. Okay. He was just holding me really close, and maybe I just wasn't expecting him to be so close. I wasn't going to send it in on him real hard, because we weren't there. He takes a huge wide opening, and so I'm thinking, okay, he's leaving the door open for me. He's going to kind of just let me go. And so that's why I'm like, all right, I guess he's just backing off, and then all of a sudden he's on my door. So, I think it was just a case where we both kind of left a little bit more room. And, uh, I didn't expect him to, him to be racing me that hard. Because it kind of looked like he was backing off, perhaps. And it, had I known that it was going to be, like, highly competitive, super close racing, I definitely would have made an extra effort to not only be on the bottom lane, but, like, right on the white line, you know? So, I'm glad it, uh, it didn't really turn out too bad keeps out of the wall right i mean we both lost a little bit of time out of it but i think by the end of the race it should have evened out well enough mitch right there mark making his way forward it looks like he of course put himself in a pretty good position near the end of the race Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. With a P4, I mean, I, I had to essentially get a top 10, and I don't even know if I 10th would have a Scott almost took you out and then about took me out on lap 143. Yeah. I 
care to see the replay. Yeah, we'll get there as well. He's going for it. Green, white, checkered. It's not too surprising. Got some blinking. Map 110. Speaking of Scott. Oh, wow. Mitch got the wall pretty good there. Thought Scott would be flying on by him, but he actually kept some momentum. Mitch did. Right along. Yeah, it was wild. Mitch, very uh, kind, despite the P2. Very, he raced very well. Appreciate him. We've had some, <laughs> at least had some great battles, he and I, just this season. Like that uh, race at Charlotte, that was also a really good one. I remember he had an awesome battle at Rockingham as well with Mark. There's been, there's been some. Incredible racing in this league so far. And uh, we'll be ready for next season, too. Some tires just getting worn. There are my tires, for example. Got some people heading into the pits. That wasn't the caution, was it? I don't think so. Nah. I imagine we might have gotten a caution from someone pitting in, though. Might have been what happened. Here in the wall. Oof, Wesley going to the grass to get the nose on Shane. Still haven't found out what any of the wrecks came from, though. This looks like it could be dangerous. But I think they figured it out. Three, two, having lots of uh, understeer troubles. We're moving along pretty quickly. A lot of non-incident incidents, but we're skipping like five laps at a time whenever we do see these things. Oh, that's a blank. And the 32 just runs over James. Well, that's no good. That must have been the caution then. So, 32 was having trouble all race, I think. And uh, he's got fresher tires right now, and he just catches these guys much faster than he's expecting, and just runs them over. James, thankfully, did bounce back for a top five. That's good to see. It's weird. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> Mitch absolutely sending it. You know he's got to do what he's got to do. Oh, this is approaching lap 143, I imagine. Woo! I think this is the moment I was thinking of. Yeah, so this is... Okay. This must be what he was talking about. So Scott's just trying to weave his way through. He makes it three wide up the middle. And then uh, Mitch has to give him some room right here. He just... A car lengths of room. Like, that's about as close as it gets. Like, he's trying to slice and dice his way through the best he can. 
And uh, I, I appreciate him for not continuing with this move. Because he was trying to get to my inside here. And believe it or not, I don't expect him to be there all of a sudden. I'm taking my normal line through here. And he hits, he hits the grass. I think he lifts a little bit. Mitch, maybe a little uh, non-appreciative of his dangerous driving, <laughs> sends it in on him quite hard. And uh, then Scott kind of gets him. Maybe that's what he was referring to for his case. So Mitch drove it in hard, but you know, it just kind of came together. You know everyone's just going to be going 110% late in a race like this. Always. So... Ooh. Oh my goodness. Four wide for a moment? What? Okay, so that's where Mitch loses momentum because he gets attacked from behind. And then we got just a stampede coming for him. What, what was this wiggle here? Ooh, I think he was trying to get to the bottom. Maybe he wasn't quite clear like he thought he would be. And he almost got into the 47. He kind of has to course correct. Yo, seven's in the wall. Nick and Gavin. They're three wide right there. Gavin gets trapped on the bottom. Because they, they're fresher tires. Yeah, he's fresher tires. Um, approaching these guys as well. I made my way forward. And this is where I get those final two spots around the outside right there, even though he kind of pushes up. And then we'll see what happened here. Hmm. Gavin just gets in the back of him. Yeah, it's just uh, that dangerous situation. You know, you got 15, 20 lap older tires right there. Gavin's trying to go. And I think he ch the guy had checked up even more because of the two right here. He doesn't get it turned in like he wants, and so he's real off pace, and then they kind of just stack up. Unfortunately, Chuck is in the wrong place, wrong time for that as well. Chuck's had some bad luck, too. He's been fast enough to win two races, but he's also just been very unlucky in some other races as well. Of course, if Chuck had been able to do every race, he'd probably be right up near the top with us. But uh, he uh, has not been able to make every race, I believe. Four wide on the restart? Is that what I'm looking at here? Mitch has got to do what he's got to do. He's going to the outside. Scott is going to the inside. They're four wide before they even get to turn one. And that's what happens. It doesn't work. Which it so often doesn't. That's why you don't do it very often. But I suppose if there's going to be a time, it's in the championship race when you have to go. I guess I can see Mitch's perspective there. Unfortunately, does not work out. Almost does. It's just the two middle cars kind of touch each other, and then Scott's race ends. That sucks. He was having a great run, obviously, and he was uh, poised to gain some more positions as well. Being one of the guys on the fresher tires, I think. Ooh, the two gets a piece of it. Oh no, Justin. I think he said he got a 0x from this. Oh my goodness. That was very close. Where did he end up finishing? 13th after starting 28th. Awesome run for Justin as well. I didn't get to talk to everybody as normal. I just gave the uh, general thank you everyone because obviously a ton of people talking um, at the finish there in public and private chat. So. Great finish to him.
And I believe this was our final green white checkered. 10. Smartly does not give himself a black flag. Come into the final turn. Wesley just did not get it to stick and loses a couple spots. Oh. But, uh. Makes it cross the line. Wow, what a finish. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and watch it. It's going to be a little bit of a longer one, but hey, maybe I want to dwell in this a little bit, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start watching from the final restart, I guess. Maybe that first restart, because uh, that was pretty crazy. So, Kasha comes out. Actually, I think we go back further, don't we? Okay. So this is where we restart. All the guys ahead all have older tires. I also want to watch just to make sure that I held my line in all the all the times that I needed to. Mitch going for it. I knew I had to be on the bottom though. That's where the lanes are gonna open up. Trying to protect the bottom there, but I also know I just need to be on the bottom because uh, there's two cars up the up the track. So get around. Here's where Scott makes his crazy move. Thankfully, he backs out of that one because he definitely would have wrecked me. And then uh, that starts that chain of events back there, where Mitch kind of gets tapped in the rear end. That gets us some space and eventually gets us some track position on him once uh, the caution comes out. Much appreciative to the, to the people that uh, gave the lane on the bottom. I see all of you and I appreciate it. Just knowing the situation and that I'm going to be coming really fast on the fresh tires. Here I saw that they were going to be on the bottom line. I could see that back here because I could see they were going too wide. They're battling for their spot. And so I know there's not going to be room on the bottom. I'm just going to be sitting behind them in, in that situation. So I just, I telegraph early. I'm going to be out here. And I know that with my fresher tires, it's not going to be the optimal way around. But I'm still going to be faster than those guys on the bottom lane if I go up high. And uh, the 44 almost drifts up into us. But the caution comes out pretty soon after. And so by not getting stuck behind them, I get a whole row on Scott. And uh, who knows how much that would have affected in the end. But we get the caution. Moving right along. We are single file. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> this is the before the single file. So this is the first, uh, the natural green-white checkered. I didn't get the greatest start this time. And that's why I ended up single file. before we even uh, got to turn one, for example. And uh, I remember this one did last long. Excuse me. Yeah, we're already on a caution, so. That one didn't really materialize. Then we had a single file start right there. I couldn't see too well, but I got a good enough jump. And good enough was all I really needed at the end, it seems. Although it, it got, it was pretty close. We almost didn't quite get the win. I was patient with it. Almost was too patient, but we figured it out. I had to make sure Shane was going to leave the bottom here. Wasn't sure if he was. So I kind of just waited. I let him drift up. And then I saw it was good. Good to go. So, you know, I dive in there, and he's not expecting that. That's how I could po possibly be in a wreck. So here, I don't even use the brakes, do I? <laughs> yeah, not until I have to slow down or I'm going to run in the back of him. Did not even use the brakes in the turn one here. <laughs> so I could have done something dumb, gone up the middle three wide right there, but no, not necessary. No need to do that. Just make sure I get a good enough run. Uh, 
that's the thing I thanked Jack for not doing the suicide block right there. Because I was coming quick. And uh, get to the line. Winners of the race and of the championship. Very fun. So exciting. I'm so happy. Like I said, this is probably the my proudest accomplishment <laughs> on iRacing. Just because it matters so much more to me than meaningless points or whatever. It's racing against a bunch of cool people uh, hosted by a YouTuber that I respect a lot and really enjoys his videos. So it, it just means a lot more. And... Uh, I'm not going to get too sappy. <laughs> um, I thank you for watching. That was a lot of fun. The whole season. And next season we will be heading to some Rovies. We've got the GT4, I believe it is. Um, I've never raced that car before. <laughs> so it's probably not going to turn out very well. Or those cars before. It's a multi-class series. Um, <laughs> my burnouts are probably pretty pathetic. These are like pure excitement burnouts, not like, hey, I'm going to do it just right and go right over the logo. They're like more like pure expression of joy burnouts. <laughs> so is what it is <laughs> there. But uh, yeah, taking some uh, GT4s to different rovals. So places like, I don't know, what was one of them? Uh, I want to say we're going to places like Gateway Roval and stuff. Places you don't see very often, racing some GT4 class cars. Um, I gotta buy one. I have to buy one of those and start learning it. But that's next season because this season has wrapped up. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. And heck yeah, we won. <laughs> have a good one.